Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another Subi Shaves video with me on a green day. It's going to be a green day, green shaves. It's thunder and lightning and, and pouring outside. I apologize if it, if it comes down a little bit during the video. I can't handle I can't help the rain, right? I can't help it. We're just going to go with it. Guys, today, we're going to be using the Ent, the Shavent, the Ent, the Ent. We're going to be using the Ent, the Ent, the Ent. The shave two letters. I'm pumped. It's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. And we're going to be doing another way to shave with this. I've done an injector in it. I'm going to show you another way. We're going to be using a new soap. Okay, guys, we're going to be using a brand new soap and scent and brand to me. Brand new in all the categories. We're going to be using Seaforth and Lime. I don't look at the green on green on green. Oh, snap. When the gear matches the clothes. I know, I know. We're gonna be using this guy, and Seaforth and Lime. It's um, it's Seaforth. Sorry, Sea Spice Lime from Seaforth. It's a lot of S's, right? And coming from the soups, I should be good at the S's, man. I know Seaforth, Sea Spice, uh, Sea Spice and Lime. Good heavens, guys! This for me, when I smelled it, like what happened is my wife ordered the soap, right? And we got it in, and I was like, oh my goodness. IMCDB is not wrong, right? Because he said it was his favorite 2021 scent. I opened the thing up and I was like, slap me in the head and tell me it's not beautiful. This is like incredible, guys. It smells like a very complex lime. Like it's so heavy sea citrus up front, or I mean, uh, uh, lime up front. And then you get a little bit of sea in the back, like just a little bit of ozone to this overwhelming Tahiti lime smell. Is it Tahiti Lime? It's gotta be Tahiti Lime, right? Yeah, Tahiti Lime. I'm telling you, it just, it smells kind of like when you first, like, smell your uh, g um, gin and tonic. You know when they put the lime in the gin and tonic? It smells like that first punch of, of, of lime. It's beautiful. I, I am in love. So, we bought the soap. Wife smelled it. I smelled it. And she's like, yep, we gotta get the trifecta up in the house. And order me a splash. Guys, getting the EDT nightmares right it's impossible everybody knows how good it is so it's gone everywhere um i got the splash and the splash just helps like if i can it's gonna help retain the the scent throughout the day and the wife ordered one she found one she's like josh i got you one so you hear, you hear the lightning and thunder she's like i got you one josh don't you worry it's for me just as much as it's for you and i was like all right i'm cool with it like if if we have to you know if we have to have me smell good i'm cool with it and it came with a C4 the Lime bottle holder. A little, little cup holder, guys. And you know what I'm drinking? I am drinking this bubbly uh, energy drink. It's an energy drink, but it's Mexican lime. Today, we're going lime everywhere, man. Lime to the nth degree. Ent, huh? Is that a reference point for the int? The nth degree? That's where we should title this. The nth degree. I don't know. I'm pumped. I'm excited. This is a cool little product. Um, similar to the Leaf. For me, I, it doesn't shave as well as the Leaf. Mine's got a little imperfection. I mentioned it in my last video I did with it that pulls hair. <laughs> Just the finished cap isn't, and they've tried getting me a new cap and I haven't been able to get it, but it does pull hair once in a while. It's not as comfortable as my Leaf, but I still get good shaves with it. Um, also the money value. There's a lot of things about this we'll talk about. A lot of things. Um, before I forget and go crazy, just with green gear, we're going more green with the CUM brush. This CUM brush was given to me. Um, this was my first badger brush. It was given to me by my good friend who was like, Josh, you have to have at least one badger brush. And I was like, dude, all right, thank you. And so he sent this to me as a surprise. And I love this brush. I, I just, I've had it been soaking in the water for like the last 10 minutes. It's really nice, and we're gonna be using the same same guy, same guy, right? I know, right? Sent me the um, the bowl. This is the asymmetric pottery bowl. I've got a little sea forth and lime in there, just soaking, just getting kind of wet. I'm gonna add some more to the bowl and kind of go from there. Yeah, really nice, really nice. Um, I'd like to just put it, some in there and let it soak for a second. Just my, just how I would do it. Just just my method of, of craziness. Just how I kind of start my stuff. Um, and then today I wanted to do a really quick shout out guys, just quick shout out to Kim for going through all my videos last night and making me laugh like repeatedly, like awesome, awesome support. Thank you so much. I hope that I was able to clarify questions and I was able to like 
make sense of things, but that's not always the case. I know like sometimes I just make things more muddy. So thank you so much for the comments. Illuminati getting on, always supporting the channel. Mike always supporting the channel. There's like 10 of you guys. And I don't want to like make, you know, when I call one person out, other people get sad that I didn't mention them. All of you guys that are doing this, thank you so much. That's awesome. Guess what happened? Guys, guess what freaking happened? We went above 150 last night. All right. I think what happened is I am CDB who seriously, guys, seriously, one of my, I like one of my idols, one of my heroes, right on the channel, on, on YouTube, in the shaving community, one of my idols, a person that revolutionized Facebook so that wet shavers could exist, right? Created pages for us, created buy and sell pages for us. He's worked with vendors to get awesome smells like Sterling um, has, has developed sense with him. Like he's done immense things for the industry and for the and for the hobby. Like for people like us, the the, the lay people. And th three months ago, guys, I went to him. I went to him four months ago before I started the channel. Before I did anything, I went to him and said, "You know, like, I'm nobody, but I really like your stuff, and I'm worried to get on camera, and I don't know if I'll be any good, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to convey my opinions. And how do you do it? The guy didn't know me from anyone, right?" IMCB sent me like a list of things that he likes to do, some tricks, some things that keep him comfortable. Just his personal like advice to a nobody and was super nice and down to earth and just humble as crud. I swear to you guys, even if we make it, even if the channel Subi shaves, even if we climb to the top, I want to be like that. That is that is the coolest thing, man. What an awesome guy. And for him to shout us out, I went from 130 to 150 last night, guys. We hit 150. I'm going to end up doing a, a giveaway here shortly. I'm going to end up giving a giveaway because 150, we made it. I never thought I was going to see past 100. I really didn't. I never thought we'd get past 100, let alone 150. One, 150 in the house. Green, green, right? We're bringing in the green. We, I can't believe it, guys. And for all you guys that are like, oh, now he's going to be rich from YouTube. You want, to get, you want me to tell you guys the numbers? Like, if you don't know what YouTube's numbers are, 1,000 is where it starts, right? The number 1,000 is where YouTube will contact you and let you know that you maybe you could do something for them. Under 1,000, they could care less. I, I think you could just pretty much do whatever you wanted under 1,000. They're not gonna, they're not gonna care. So nothing's really come about other than like, I'm shocked. I have, a, we have 150 people that are watching this. That's so cool, guys. Sorry, I am just pumped, I'm just pumped. Um. Let's get this shave going. Let's get this. Let's get this shave going. So, like I said, th thank you again. I just I, again, thank guys. Thank you. Oh, what, a, what an awesome experience. This whole process has been awesome. Um, we're gonna be using this today, and I'm gonna do a head and face shave because I missed my head shave yesterday. Well, I didn't miss it. I did it, but it didn't turn out awesome, right? You could see I was using a certain brand. I was using a new soap. It's probably my fault. But it didn't, it was not comfortable. I won't lie to you guys. I did not enjoy that shave yesterday. I'm still a little bit like, little, not sore, but like I can feel that it wasn't a great comfortable one. Just, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't awesome. So I did not post that video because you can see I'm like, oh man, why? Um, but it was part of the Reddit challenge. So today is going to be a much better shave for everybody, including myself. Um, I'm really excited to give this C430, like I've never tried the brand. But I'm really excited to give it a try today. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be lathering up with the... We're going to be lathering life, as we as we so to say. Um, yeah, I'm just going to be lathering up and having a good shave with this Ent. And the Ent, guys, it is a product that's not available in the U.S. yet. It's kind of like on its, um, you know, maiden voyage, you could say. It's still uh, barely being produced, and there's limited numbers. And to get one into the U.S. is a, a nightmare. And it, it, it kind of is in the same spectrum as the leaf, right? But it has some differences to the, than the leaf that really kind of make it, in my opinion, uh, a different razor, right? I don't want to say better or worse because there's people out there that will like it one over the other, right? But I feel like when you have a product that's so similar to the other one, you're going to have, and inevitably, you're going to have people that want to compare it, right? You're going to have people that want to say, okay, well, how does it compare? If a product's super different from another product, people still compare it. So when you have a product that has three blades that pivots, that um, you know uses a half DE blade stacked, you're gonna have a lot of people that are like, "Well, it's gonna be the same thing. I want to you know compare it." 
and it's not fair to the companies that are producing these individual unique products because they do have some unique traits. But at the same time, you can't really blame the consumer that is just trying to use the, you know, get the best for their money, right? People like that are, hopefully people that are watching this are like me, where you're reading reviews, you're trying to make the most of your money. The wet shaving industry in general is expensive, right? It doesn't have to be. You can go on, on the cheap, but some of this stuff gets really pricey. And you're trying to, you know, get a great product for a great price. And a lot of you don't want redundancies in your product line. Like, right, if you're shaved dead, if you're like my wife, you want like three things in your shaved dead and that's it. My wife's one of those minimalists. That's who, that's, she's like that. She's like, no, I, I'm cool with my three things. I'm done. That's it. And I'm not. I like to experience things and tinker around with things. And I'm a little different. But at the same time, money's still like a thing for me. So, when I was comparing, which I did, to the leaf, which I've done, um, the Ent kind of falls behind for me. The Ent doesn't quite hit the same um, same points for me. One of the struggles that this razor has is that the handle, guys, is straight. You see how there's no bend to this handle at all, including the head cap. It's straight. What you end up with is a razor that doesn't sit flat. You see how it's like, I'm going to walk back here. I can touch my collarbone or my breastbone or whatever the bone this is, the clavicle bone. I can touch whatever the heck this is and my neck at the same time. And that means if I'm pulling down, I'm going to be battling this straight handle the whole time I'm shaving my neck. And I'll smack my, my chest, my breastbone the whole entire time I'm shaving. And that's just kind of uncomfortable. It also makes a lot of noise. You'll notice while I'm shaving today, it just makes a noise the whole time. The noise can be a little bit irritating, a little bit if you're a counter, especially if you're an OCD counter. I start counting the tinks, the clicks, and then I'm like, it drives me nuts. Um, some other things that I would say are less than ideal. Let's get into it. Let's start shaving and talk about the less than ideal here. And one of them, guys, is these knobs. How it's put together is it's held by two knobs, right? And you unscrew the two knobs and it's, you pull the top cap off. Well, here's the thing is, you can over unscrew, you can, these little knobs can fly off. They can just fully unscrew, they can unseat. And then you've got to assemble your blades and your little blade gap shims. It's like a Lego to start, right? And the, the leaf's a one piece razor, right? You don't have that Lego aspect to it. Just makes it a little bit easier for me. I'm not a person that likes to like have a razor from OEM that comes in pieces. And that's the other thing is when you buy this razor, right guys, you buy it, it comes out of Germany. This is $150, right? And that's if you can get it. That's if like, you know, somebody in the UK that you can ship it to. Usually I've been told shipping can be 50 to $75 for this razor, just shipping alone, um, into the States, getting it here, landing one, pulling the unicorn from the UK or Germany, excuse me, from Germany into the US, and actually from UK probably, because you can't ship from Germany, as I'm learning. You try shipping from Germany and DHL will lose your stuff like 15 times. That's what happened to me. So you ship it to the UK, then the UK ships it to us. And what you end up with here is like a $230 razor that's ZMAC. And that's that's pretty expensive for a ZMAC product. And on top of that, right, because you guys under, have to understand they're small, they're tiny, they're trying to prove, you know, proof of concept. So you're paying for some of that, right? There's a uh, innovator cost, right, to the consumer. And that innovator cost also comes with the fact that maybe this isn't in its perfect you know, form to start. Um, the handle was super slippery, guys. So I took a boba straw off of Amazon. I know not everybody in every country has Amazon. I'm sorry. This is a boba straw that um, is silicone. I just cut the boba straw in half and slid it on. And it is a silicone grippy, nice, easy way. And I do this on a lot of my razors. I'll add silicone to a lot of them just because I like the way it feels as a head shaver, especially in the shower. Um, and it means I'm not going to drop it. Today, guys, we're going to be using the Gillette Permasharps. You guys know how this is just my blade. I love this blade. I really do. Um, they're awesome for me, right? I snap, you have to snap them in half um, for the shave end. And my buddy, he uh, said, Josh, you know, when you snap them, snap them in half, they create a little more, they, they don't sit as flat. But for me, that's okay. I don't mind them not sitting as flat because I find this to be a little less efficient than the leaf. And he told me I was wrong. He said that he felt like it was more because I know one other person that has them in the States. And 
he and I have gone back and forth. He wrote an article on it. Um, Charles does an awesome job over at Sharpologist. This is a huge shout out to Charles. He's the reason I really was interested in the razor because he had one. And he and I have gone back and forth and talked a lot about it. He loves his. Um, he actually, I think he, he said that he uh, liked it a little more than the leaf. For me, guys, it doesn't it doesn't meet the same criteria as the leaf for me. It just doesn't. But that's okay. That's This hobby is all about, you know, um, experiencing and trying different things. Not everything is going to work for every person, right? That's, I think, that's key. I just taken both blades, snapped them in half, right? Stacked them. I know. I know you new guys are like, you did what? Guys, this is not uncommon for me. I love this way. This is not how the right manufacturer recommends it. I like that I see IMDC, IMDCB did this. He's like, this is not manufacturer recommended. If I get hurt, it's my fault, right? If I get hurt, this is always my fault. Like, yeah, I, I never blame the manufacturer for me doing stupid crap. I just like the way this fills. And in this shave end, like I said, it's just a little less efficient. So what this does is I put both blades stacked into the bottom plate. Okay, I'm going to assemble this with you guys so you can see. Um, I'm going to step back so you guys can see. Um, I assembled the, the bottom blade into the plate, and with both of them stacked, it firms it up. It makes it feel um, a little more, um, not aggressive, it just gives it uh, a little more efficiency because the blade's not wobbling. It's not, as you're cutting the hair, it's not doing this. There's no flex. The problem is, is when you have a DE blade, you have flex usually on a DE razor that creates less, so the surface can't do wobble. When you have these flat ones, you get some wobble to them by just the way that it cuts through hair. Not, it's minimal, it's by it's by micrometers, but you still get that wobble. So this is gonna reduce the wobble, guys. Okay, so that's all it's gonna do. It's gonna remove wobble and make it more firm so that when you're shaving, you're getting a consistent cut. I like it. It's a good, I, it's good for my skin and it's really good for my, um, my stubble on my head. We then take one of the shims, the Batman shims. These look like the thing, the darts that Batman throws. His little nunchucky things. Right? You stack it on top, and that's the first That's the first one. So what you do now is you'd usually stack another blade on top of that one, and then you would take your second shim, right? And you will just slide it into your sink. Of course, that is the one thing, guys. One thing about this, this razor is the um, slight fiddly nature to it. And me trying to do it up where you guys can see. Um is a little less than ideal, right? Into the sink. I can't believe I got out of the sink, guys. My sink, it's deep, and I was able to pull it out. So you take it, I'm sorry, I'm gonna do it like this so I can actually see what I'm doing, and you slide it in. There is two shims inside of the end. You guys see this? That's how it runs, that's how we do. I know, weird. Weird, right? It's kind of alien-esque. Then we grab our top cap. We got our we got our shave end almost assembled. We're gonna slide that top cap right on. And what I do with this end, because what happens is if you don't put some pressure here with your thumb, um, it will wobble away and you don't get a level seat on the on the way the screws together. Because there's two of them, you have to kind of do them like like this, right back to back. If you do one really tight and then one not tight, you get it goes whoop, and you can't get the other one level. So I kind of I level them up. And it is just a, like, when they say fiddly, this is, this is another level of fiddly. It does shave well, but you have to get through the fiddly aspect of it. And the other thing is you want to make sure, guys, if you own one of these, if, if you're from the UK, right, or the um, Germany, Europe, just Europe in general, and you own one of these and you're watching me, you know, if you don't screw these down tight enough, they unscrew while you're shaving. I've had them unscrew twice. It's not a comfortable experience. You guys can see. Two blades inside of the shave int, stacked together in the bottom slot. And the reason I stack them in the bottom slot is if you don't, uh, and you stack all three, they're so tightly together, you get a lot of clogging. This is a razor that does clog. If you um, have all three blades stacked together, it's just a, it's a major clogger. Um, for me, at least. It, it, I've had really bad clogging issues. But if I do it like this, no clogging. One blade never clogs. So um, this is a little water, guys. So that's my thoughts on the Ent. It's a it's a nice product. It was a good concept. Um, I, think it's a, I think it's a fantastic uh, proof of concept, right? But I think there's some things they could work on. I think the handle needs to change. I really do. I think it's either make it shorter and straight or longer and curved. Because 
it's really hard to shave the neck with it. It's, it's a major pain to shave the neck with it. Um, I think that their finish process needs a uh, overhaul. Cause like I said, mine has finish problems and I contacted my buddy and he says his has finish problems too. He was doing some looking. He's like, Oh, so I know two people in the States that have them and both of them have finish problems. Um, mine is worse than his as far as finish goes. Oh, this is good smelling. Dang, this is good. I'm telling you, if it wasn't for Chris, if it wasn't for IMCDB, I would not own this soap, right? I would not have jumped on it because for me, the logo ink, a little piece of soap there. The logo ink, guys, was not, was not like breathtaking, right? I know that sounds so stupid. Who's buying soap based on the logo? I know, but for me, it didn't like pop out and I was like, yeah, it sounds okay, but you know, whatever. And then he said it was awesome. And I was like, well, if Chris says it's awesome. That dude has tried everything under the sun. I'm gonna rock that. I just kind of went on uh, by consumer trust, guys. I was a consumer truster. I know, I was a fanboy, I, I trusted. And let me tell you something, I win from that experience because this smells amazing. Oh, let's have a little lime, a little lime drink. Little, uh, wait, I don't even know what brand this is. I found it at the Whole Foods. This is just a, a delicious little lime energy drink. Let's do it. Mm. Mixing it up with the shave? Oh, that's good. That's how we do it. Let's, let's, let's roll. And you can see, it's very similar to the leaf. The head on it shaves very similarly. It has a, a, a similar level of aggressiveness to it. It really does. Especially when you forget to pre-shave. Can't believe I forgot to pre-shave. Oh, I did pre-shave. No, I was, I was smart about that. I did pre-shave, make sure. Um, yeah, so this is good, guys. This is all right. This is this is an interesting product. Um, I think the money value of it's a little steep. I really do. See all the um, stubble up top? I think the, the $150 to start in the U.S. is really steep. Um, but again, this was not designed for the U.S. Uh, market. If you contact them and say, I'm from the U.S., I want to buy one, they will not sell you one because it is so hard to get your little hands on. And the shipping is such a pain in the butt for them. And you kind of have to learn the angle, guys. That's one other thing about the end. And with the leaf is that you have to learn how to engage all the blades. It takes a little bit of practice to learn how to engage all the blades and the correct angle. I can actually feel some of my swipes not engaging um, the bottom blade. Like right there, I had to do a second pass because I could feel it not engage. It's kind of a weird angle for sure. Um, I did read on one of the review sites, I can't remember where, that they said that they thought that the leaf or the end took four uses. Can't remember where I read that, but they said that they felt like it took four good shaves before they had it figured out and honed in. And I think that's probably fair. I think I had five or six before I felt like I was getting a good shave out of the um, end. Just because it is a weird angle. It's a weird head angle. It's different than even the leaf. Um, Cause of how steep this is. It's, it's a really steep uh, angle. And I, like I said, I find it just marginally less efficient. It's just is a little bit less efficient. I'm getting good. You guys can see. See all that stubble back there? I'm getting a good shave. It is working. Um, my thing is, though, is why? You know what I mean? When the leaf works just as good as this, why? And I know a lot of people have said, you know, I've talked to uh, like my buddy that owns one. He's like, you know, for me, it works a little better. It's a lot. It's double the price of the leaf for an American. I don't know what it is to buy a leaf in Germany. Maybe they have the same problem we have here where it's impossible to get, you know, anything into the States or into their uh, country. I don't really know. But I do know that if it's, I mean, if the leaf's that much more money there, you know, maybe this product makes more sense to them. But while I'm in America, right? I'm in America. I live down the street from one of Leaf's uh, headquarters, one of their... Uh, Distributing places, right? 
they actually make some of their razors here. So, um, yeah, I don't know how, like, I just wouldn't replace any of my, my leaf shaves for sure. And you hear this? It's just, it's a rattly little thing. It's a rattly, shaky little, little guy. And the handle's hollow. That's another thing I forgot to mention last time I used it. The handle's hollow. And the way that the mechanism works, right? You see this spring up top, guys? You see this spring up top? It actually goes inside the handle. So you're, you're having to have this whole mechanism and assembly inside the handle that does like, so the handle's hollow. So it has a weird kind of hollow feel to it. And you saw me hit the um, back of the handle. Because the head is just kind of this weird angle. If you watch the um, handle on this razor, it's just, it kind of is a weird angle, man. And I still shave with it with no pressure. I try no pressure, at least. Um, it's, it's it's a little hard. The spring on this razor is a little wider than the lease. If my skin fill is right. And that's the thing. is Because it's a little lighter, you're getting some pivot just by the nature of when you're shaving. Right? As soon as it hits the skin, you get that instant pivot. And yes, like I said, it's shaving... And it's, 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 again, it's, it's a very easy shave. I'm having to go against the grain twice because it's just a little less efficient for me. But that's not a problem, especially if you like a good mild shave. My biggest downfall, biggest qualm with it is really the price, fit and finish. And when you compare it to like or similar products on the market, Again, I'm having to just do like a third kind of walk around just because my stubble's not all gone. Yeah, it's it's definitely more mild. It's just a little, little mild for me. And I've tried loading three blades into it. I've tried doing a bunch of things to make it a little more aggressive. Shimming, I've done, I've actually done the injector in it. The injector was a little, a lot more aggressive because I could actually change the blade, get, um, the amount of blade it's exposed. Blade exposure on this is very minimal. If you look, guys, look at the blade exposure here. It is very minimal. And because of that minimal blade exposure, it's just a... It's a different one. You know, that's all it is. It's just a different little guy. And, like I said, this is one that I bought because um, I, I my buddy had one and I thought it was really cool. And... You know, it's an interesting, it's an interesting looking razor. I think it's very alien, right? It looks super alien. It's like, it, it, I don't know. It, when I first got it, I thought it was intimidating to even look at it. I was like, man, that thing's kind of scary, you know? Three blades inside this menacing mouth of, of, uh, of a razor. It just really just looked kind of like the thing under my bed. But as you're using it, you realize like, I mean, you can put down some pressure. You guys see this? I'm getting lots of stubble still off. Um, I do feel that this razor benefits from using a thinner soap. Like, I get a better shave, like at this point in the shave, when I've actually just gone in and got it super wet, super hydrated, and just run my hand over it. Um, I feel like this razor really does well with a thin crope or um, some kind of soft cream where you don't have as much lather building up inside of it, um, clogging it up. I think, I think I can get away with that today. As you guys can see, it's just, I'm just kinda going through the motions of it. It's all right, it's all right, it's a good shave. I'm done, it's, it's BBS shave. Um, it won't last as long. That's the other thing, like when we talk about BBS, right? You guys know, I when I say BBS, I'm not like, BBS for now, like it's, no, 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 We compare it in three hours, in five hours. Am I still feeling smooth in five hours? And I have not had a shave with the Ent, right? With the shave Ent that has felt that close, like like a 12 hour shave um, yet. I've had a couple like five, six hours where I'm still like really close at five and six hours, but about seven, eight hours, I'm seeing stubble and I'm seeing, um, I feel stubble. 
And I think that the trade off is they say it's like, you know, more comfortable. It's a very comfortable, easy razor to use. The head on it may be a little bit smaller than Leaf. I mean, if you guys see, I don't have the same problems I do usually on this spot on my head um, with I, when I do with the Leaf. And that's hard to say why that's the case. The blade fits about the same. The angle fits about the same. I do get a little bit closer on this one spot on my face, but you saw I was able to bend my ear over and still shave with the Leaf. So it doesn't really affect anything. And yeah, this is this is a good this, guys. This is a good shave. It takes a little longer than the leaf because the leaf for me again is a little bit more efficient. I'm just buffing a couple more of those little spots that are missed. But yeah, it's it's all right. It's an okay. It's a it's an okay. It's an okay razor for me. It stayed in the den for a reason. Um, I really feel like you know eight hours. It's a good. It stays smooth for eight hours. It's fast. It's different. It's green because <laughs> of my green silicone. Um, I think it's a cool looking razor. And you guys can't tell me that you haven't kept razors just because they look cool to you. Like, I know, I know. Lady shavers out there, right? Lady shavers. They got those really cool lady shaver Gillettes. I don't even care they're for ladies. They look cool as crap with the stars. I want one of those. The historic vintage ladies Gillette. If you haven't seen one of those, look it up. Such a cool look. It looks cool, and it's got like a longer handle on it and everything. My buddy got one. He has a bunch of them, actually. And he sent me a photo, and I was like, man, what are those days? I'm going to get me a, a vintage lady shaver, because those are cool. Those are just really cool um, razors. And I, I don't know how they shave, but I, they look cool. And that's, again, I definitely have kept, part of, part of the reason I kept the shave mat is because of uh, the way it looks. Apologies for that. I had a piece of soap. Um, let's do the face really quick. Do the face. Um, the end, similar to the leaf in the way that the blades, the head's really large. So doing your beard lines is a little bit challenging. If you're going to sculpt like a beard line or a neckline, it takes a little bit of practice and a little finesse to not over shave your lines. And to know where that blade ends and starts. Because this is mild. This does not have blade fill to it. If you guys are curious, there's no blade fill. At all. Like you can see, I'm just going, going, going. There, I mean, it is, it is mild. It is, like, it's definitely substantially more mild than leaf. Substantially more mild. If you think leaf is mild, this is much, much less blade fill. Um, and similarly, it is similarly ag aggressive. It's just a little less aggressive, honestly. If, if you own a leaf, what I can compare this to is it feels similar to running a top and middle slot in their most aggressive slot. That is where efficiency compares to. I, I, I hate doing that because the products are so different. Um, they shave different, they feel different. But if you were to like sit down and say, okay, Josh, really compare soups, soup canoobs. Mr. Subalubes, and it is Subes, right? It's not uh, Suvi. I know that I've seen him, he's like, pulling a Suvi, pulling a Suvi. I think he said a V once. Um, if you were gonna ask me to pull a Suvi and really give you guys like my opinion on, you know, how it compares, I would say it feels like the bottom and um, top slot on a leaf. Inefficiency. It's like you've just gone in and, and bypassed the bottom blade. And that's fine. I mean, that means that if you have more sensitive skin, this is gonna feel really good. I wouldn't say my skin's ultra sensitive. It definitely is sensitive. I think, I think it's funny when people say, my skin's not sensitive. I'm like, you know what skin is? <laughs> do, you, do you know what skin even is? It's sensitive by nature. How is your skin not sensitive? That, you do you not feel when you not get, when you get sunburned? Like if I pinch you, do you not feel it? Like, how is your skin not sensitive? I don't know. It, it, skin's, my skin's normal sensitivity. It, it's human skin. It's not alien skin. It's not rhino skin. It is normal skin. And for me, it's a, it's a very mild way to shave. Mild as, as it comes. You see this? Like, it, Yeah, it's getting a good line. Good line. Feels really good on my face. But again, if you don't practice, you see my line? 
and my line's not perfect today. If you don't practice with it, what you'll end up with is either jagged lines or over shaving. Because when you sit this head down to your face, look at the head guys versus my face. You see the size? So when you're, if you have three blades loaded in this guy and you're pulling down, you're shaving way up here when you're trying to shave here. Does that make sense? You're actually shaving this entire portion of your face while it's only trying to shave right here. And that makes for kind of an uncomfortable experience. And on top of that, if you're trying to wind your beard, right? And you're feeling pulling and you're feeling cutting up here, your face doesn't know to tell you that there's something going on here, I, at least for me. That's the problem is I'm sh shaving my, my, my beard line and I, I'm like, okay, I can feel it up here and up here and up here and up here and around here. Where's the beard line? So I only run one blade in it and that helps with lining up my beard. But at the same time, I still can feel the pressure of the head on the other places and it makes for a really hard product to line my beard. That's, I have the same issue with leaf. It's, that's no different than what I have with leaf at all. I feel the same way about leaf. I have a really hard time with the leaf lining my beard. Um, I've told leaf that. <laughs> I've not been I've not been dishonest about that. Um, when I first got the leaf, even I, I loved the leaf, right? It, there was nothing else available that was working in that same way. And I practiced, man. I spent I, I jacked my beard up twenty five times. I had to take my beard like almost all the way off, and the wife wasn't happy. She's like, "Who is the stranger that lives with me? Who is this beardless man? I can't have this." Yeah, it wasn't good. No one likes me without a little bit of stubble. So um, I need that little bit of stubble. And I definitely messed up my beard trying to learn with the leaf before the twig came out. And this shave head, when I picked it up, it almost felt like the exact same learning process. Like, oh, I'm gonna have to hack my beard off in order to find out where this is actually trimming and where I need to put the head to get my beard lined up. Just a, just a thing. Um, I did let my wife try this, if you're curious. Um, this is for you know any of the lady shavers out there. Uh, I let my wife try it, and her thought was that the handle being straight made for getting it in little tight crevices. Right? Think about little tight crevices. Really difficult because it had to flex almost like this in order to fit in those places. And while you're doing that, you're battling the longer handle. And she liked the longer handle for like, you know, body shaving, arms, the, the general areas that are usually shaved. But any of the intricate areas were really really complicated especially like wrists i guess she didn't like it for wrists um if i remember right any of the bony protuberances as she puts it as a as a as a doctor bony protuberances she hated it see again i'm battling it with my against my chest um i can feel it's clogged yeah it, it clogs up a little more than the leaf too I think that's because it has less efficiency. It's not pulling everything up. You know what I mean? It just doesn't get everything. My, my one friend, he loves it for his neck. He's like, it's the most unirritating thing forever I've had on my neck. And that's awesome, man. That's what this hobby is all about. If it works awesome for you on your neck or on your trouble spot, then you have found your product. And that's awesome. I keep, I keep exploring. I think I've already found my one product, but I keep having fun, right? Why not have one product in every line? Why not have, every, you know, one vintage that you will always use or the one modern that gets used when the vintage isn't being used? You know, just for fun. That's just who I am. I like to have lots of options. Yeah, like I said, this, I just watered it down a little bit more on the neck. And it's, it's shaving already, it's already shaving better. It's one of those razors for me that I need a more light lather. And again, I still am not using a whole lot of pressure, even though you can hear it clicking. The reason you can hear it clicking is because um, even without any pressure, guys, it, it just has a light spring. And I may have a little one. I may have a little... Um, Weeper from over buffing because I just I have to get it close but at the same time if I'm going if I'm over buffing an area I may end up with you know one or two weepers I can't really tell maybe I don't really know yeah it's close I can tell you that it's really close it's really close it doesn't feel horrible at all but it doesn't feel as nice as when I use it with a leaf it's just at for me as nice splash guys splash Let's do a little, um, 
Did I forget my alum? I did forget the alum, guys. Forgot the alum. Let's do a little alum. Let's go alum stick on this guy. See how it feels really in reality. Definitely a little bit of burn. A little bit of burn. Not terrible. Not, not going to ruin my day over it, but it's definitely a little bit more. Like, you know, some of the days, like, I'll rub the alum. I'm like, yeah, this, this has a little bit more. Just a titch. And I'm picky, right? I am super picky. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I am being picky as crap because I paid a lot of money for it, right? And if you guys are buying one, you're going to be paying a lot of money for it. So I want it to work good, at least as good as my leaf. And I have a little bit more irritation today than I do with my leaf. Just what it is. Could I, I told you guys, yeah, I had a little bit more irritating shave yesterday too, though. So all, all things in consideration, right? I'm sure if I did this five days in a row, back to back to back, eventually I wouldn't have a super irritating shave. This is just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit back here on my back of my head with the alum stick on it. Just a little bit. We're going to do something uh, today I've not done with you guys yet on camera. I got this at CVS, guys. CVS. Two bucks. Two bucks. And it's got uh, menthol in it. It's got, it's got a, it's a winter green. It's got glycerin in it too. It's got glycerin in it for wet shavers, guys, right? Some of you guys put glycerin on it anyway. This is a glycerin um, enhanced uh, isopropyl 70. And I like isopropyl anyway as a test. A test of my skin to see, oh, how it, dude. Oh, it hurts. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. Ooh. Oh, ouch! Yeah, whoa, the 70. That 70 just kicked my butt. It feels good though. As that winter green, it, it comes in, it's soothing for $2. It's soothing. You do smell like you just climbed out of a winter green gum pack. I will not lie to you guys. It's like walking out of a winter green gum pack. And you guys can see, I didn't have anything that was like bad as far as the next shave goes. It doesn't feel as good. All right. I'm <laughs> be honest here but the winter green man if that was a cologne that's beautiful it's, it's it's i know that's weird right but i like isopropyl 70 on the skin afterward i just like it and then what i do is i go on top of that with my splash and today guys oh as soon as i open the cap it's like hello welcome to the tropics how long have i been doing this oh my hell we're gonna stop the video now what the world man i got i lost i lost track today lost the track you guys, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm going to get flamed for this. I'm going to have one view. I'm so sorry. This was so long. Um, great shave. Great shave. I feel like I covered the end fairly uh, to my to my opinions. Oh, hopefully this makes up for me not doing a Saturday video with you guys again. I'm sorry. That video was just not up to my, my conditions, my... And I don't want to. I don't want to get on and thrash a product just because um, it didn't work for me one time. The first time I'd ever used it, like that seemed dumb. So yeah, I just I just left it alone. Um, guys, the EDT or EDP or whatever the heck EDT on this one, right? The other one's EDP. I I, I can't win. Oh, it's so nice. It's oh burning the crap out of my skin. It's such a nice smell though, guys. Thank you so much for being a part of this. Thank you for being part of the channel. Thank you for being part of the journey. All of you, you rock. I hope your Mondays are as fantastic as mine is. And I really honestly, guys, fingers crossed, hope you made it past the first 10 minute marker. Thank you so much. You guys rock. Thank you. Bye.